On December 22, 1887, a genius named Ramanujan was born into a Tamil Brahmin family in Erode, which is presently known as Tamil Nadu. Ramanujan came from a humble background. His father was a clerk and his mother was a housewife. Ramanujan truly was a child prodigy. He had completed reading books of two college students who were tenant at his house when he was 11. He mastered advanced trigonometry by the age of 13. He had read and mastered numerous advanced topics in mathematics and also developed his own techniques to solve advanced maths problem. But for the surprise, he failed his college exams due to lack of interest in other subjects like English, physiology, etc. He also failed his fellow of arts exam and continued independent research without any funding living in extreme poverty. It was only in 1910 that he got recognition for his work by Indian Mathematical Society by Deputy Collector Dr. V. Ramaswamy Iyer. Ramanujan's work was so to the point and would lack presentation, so it became extremely hard for other mathematician to comprehend it. On 16 January 1913, Ramanujan had sent a letter to the great mathematician G. H. Hardy of Cambridge University, in which he sent out 120 theorems and formulae. Hardy, being a well-known mathematician, was not able to believe or comprehend the proof at first, but later was impressed by the work. He regarded Ramanujan as a mathematician of the highest. quality on 17th march 1914 ramanujan flew to england after facing resistance from the family the work of ramanujan was published in cambridge collaborating with hardy this collaboration was a clash of personalities and beliefs ramanujan had no formal training therefore hardy tried to fill the gaps in ramanujan education hardy was an atheist but ramanujan was a deeply religious man who relied very strongly on his intuitions and beliefs He was a great devotee of the goddess Namgiri, one of the avatar of goddess Lakshmi. He once quoted, "An equation for me has no meaning unless it expresses a thought of God." In spite of all differences, there were no conflicts between the two. On 2nd May 1918, Ramanujan was elected as a fellow of Royal Society. Till date various proofs theorems and results remain unanswered of Ramanujan's notebook and are a work of research for present day mathematicians it is very unfortunate that the genius left the world only at the age of 32 years due to numerous health problems like tuberculosis and severe vitamin deficiency in 1920 Today on his birth anniversary celebrated as National Mathematics Day we are starting a series Genius of Ramanujan where we will try to showcase the remarkable work of Ramanujan In today's video we will discuss Ramanujan's birthday magic square Ramanujan's square is a square grid of numbers The birthday magic square consists of date of birth divided into four numbers that is day month century and year The grid consists of the following combination of the numbers. Substituting the values according to the date of birth of S and Ramanujan, we get the grid as follows. It is clear now that all the vertical columns add to 139 and the horizontal rows also add to 139 even the diagonals add up to 139 This is why this is known as magic square So this was it for the video see you in the next one Happy National Mathematics Day thank you for watching